infrastructure, security, and social service. In the economic sector, we are looking at agriculture, rural development, petroleum resources, solid minerals, and trade and investment. While in infrastructure area, we are looking at the communication technology, environment, federal capital territory, Niger Delta, science and tech, transport, water resources, works, power, and housing. Then, if you look at the security aspects, we are talking about defense, interior, office of national security, advisor, police, formation and command, police service commission, and social, of course, education, health, culture, employment, women affairs and youth development. Then, in fact, I tried to separate all these areas. I tried to separate all these areas in the 2017 budget. In the administration, you look at the recurrent expenditure is about 86%, while the capital is only 14%. In the economy, which involves agriculture and the rest, we are talking of 37% recurrent, 63% capital. In the infrastructure, we are talking of 10% recurrent and 90% capital. While the social security, I mean the security, we have 78%, and then the capital 22%. But the social aspect of it, which involves education, health, and so on, we have only 14% capital and 86. So in this one, we can say there is a dramatic improvement in capital allocation for economic and social service sectors, with a huge increase in recurrent spend for the administration. And therefore, we expect that this to be a recovery budget, because certainly there is going to be tremendous development of this budget. But there is a caveat in it, because there is a problem of uh, that we have been talking about because of the pressure on the Naira, the issue of 3.5 Naira to a dollar. This one is not realistic, even though we understand that. Yes, there is no way the private market can be the same with the government approved rate. But however, it is important for the government to think of the input substitution, particularly of those 41 items banned, so that so much money can be injected in those companies so that they can produce more money and then uh, they can produce more goods, export them outside, get more, more dollars in the country so that we can reduce the pressure exerted by the dollar on the Naira. That should be the case. Then also the issue of loan. Yes, we have seen that Nigeria, of course, is under borrowed. We can borrow money. But you cannot borrow to finance consumption. You have to borrow to finance the infrastructure so that you can pay back. I think that is very, very important. But there is another issue that I'm surprised. Up to now, we are not sufficient in anything. And that means government has been talking about diversification, diversification, but there is nothing to show for it. I think we should not be so rhetoric. We should not be just talking. We should be practical on the issues so that more money can be invested on the diversification effort so that we can see what it will yield in future. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Senator Binter. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleague. My name is Binta Masvigalwa. I represent Adama, North Senatorial Zone of Adama State. I stand to align myself with some of the contributions of my colleagues, which obviously I'm not going to indulge more on. Firstly, yesterday, Senator Asha 